Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is On the Road Again by Philip Newman. A little bit late with today's solve video, I apologize. This originally went up in gas on November 23rd, 2024. So this is a diagonal Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules. So we're placing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each heavily outlined three by three region. And then in addition to that, because it is diagonal Sudoku, we're placing the digits one through nine exactly once in each of these two marked blue diagonals. So for instance, we already have a one, a five, and a nine in this diagonal. So we can't place any other ones, fives, or nines anywhere in that diagonal or anywhere along that diagonal. So let's have a look. So the thing that's standing out to me first is that we have these sets of four digits um, that are kind of arranged in the corners of these regions in these two regions, uh, regions four and six. That tells me that there has to be a five in one of those cells and there also has to be a five in one of those cells. And that's kind of fun because I have fives here or here, I have a five here and that accounts for my fives in both columns one and two. And then there's also a five over here that eliminates five from this cell, if we hadn't eliminated it already, which we have because there's already five on the diagonal. So long story short, the only position for a five in region one is right there in the top right corner of the region. Something similar is going on in region nine. We have fives here or here, so we know where the five in column eight is roughly. We have a five here for column nine. We have a five right here, so we are going to place a five right there. Now we have these two fives, which tell us five has to go in one of these two cells in region eight. So it has to go there because there's already a five in column five. And similarly, we have fives right here and there's no five there. So we're going to place a five in that cell. And our other two fives kind of remain to be determined. Now, what shall we look at next? So I have two sixes here. I'm looking for repeated digits. That's kind of what I'm scanning for here. Um, what should I focus on? If three is here and here and there. And I did test this one, but it was a good little while ago, actually. So I'm struggling to remember exactly what my next move is. I remember this one being a little bit tricky. I have a three here and a three here, and that eliminates threes from this position. So I know that three is in these two positions in columns one and two. And therefore, three has to be in one of these three cells in region seven, and it can't be in this one. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I have threes here and here, and I can eliminate three from there. So three is in one of those two cells. I do have symmetrical deductions with seven. So I have seven there or there, and I have a seven there or there. But that's not quite enough to unstick me yet. So I have fours here and here. So there's four in one of those cells. And I have sixes here and here. So there's a six in one of those cells. And I wonder, actually, I think I can do something with these diagonals now. So I've used one, five, and nine. So I still need two, three, four, six, seven, and eight. And I've used a lot of those already here. So I have six, seven, and eight looking at this cell in particular, and I also have a two here. So this has to be either three or four. Eight, in fact, can't be in any of these. And it also can't, okay, so what I'm noticing now is eight can't be in any of these cells, and it also can't be in these two. So eight's what's gonna unlock this for us because we have to place an eight on this diagonal somewhere. Can't go there either because of the eight there. So there's my eight and that resolves the three. And I bet I get something symmetrical with two because I can't place a two here, 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 or there by Sudoku. So my two must go there, placing a seven in that cell. And now I have two twos here and here and a two up here. So that tells me a two must go there. I have two eights here and here and an eight down here. So that tells me eight must go in that cell. Now by Sudoku, I have a hidden eight in this region and I'm probably, yep, I sure am gonna have a hidden two in this region as well. Awesome. So what do I still need in this region? So I need four, six, seven, and nine. So these cells can only contain six, seven, and nine. I can eliminate nine from there because of the diagonal. In this region, I need one, three, four, and six. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm noticing a symmetrical deduction in both of these regions, actually. So I have a one right here that eliminates one from those cells. So my one can only go in that position. And then the nine right here eliminates nine from those cells. So nine can only go in this position. So these are some combo of four, six, and seven. And that's not going to be a seven. These are some combo of three, four, and six. And that's not going to be a three. 
okay, so now we're now we're cruising along. Um, now I have the same exact digits in these five cells as these ones, so whatever goes here also goes here. But that's not going to give me much, at least not on a gas level at this moment. Let's keep focusing on this diagonal. So I still need three, four, six, and seven. Uh, and this can't be three, four, or seven because it sees those digits. So that'll be a six, which resolves this, and then I can eliminate six and seven here. This cell can't contain a 3, so it's a 4, making this one a 3, and that resolves that entire diagonal. Now we have something kind of fun going on here where we have 6s in these two regions already, but we still need to place a 6 along this diagonal somewhere, so it can only ever go in these three cells. It's definitely not going to go here because of the 4-6 pair. In fact, we can mark these, we know they're 7 and 8, and actually that resolves immediately. And so it's got to go in one of those two cells. So what can these four cells contain? This is going to be 1, 3, 6, and 9. This can't be 3 or 9, that can't be 1 or 3, and 6 definitely has to be in one of those two. So neither of these can be 6, and this can't be a 3 either, because there's a 3 in the row. So this is my 3, and then I have some combo of 1, 6, and 9 right there. Alright, by Sudoku in this row, I need a 1 and a 6, which resolve right away. And for this region, I'm going to need 4, 8, and 9, and those can't be 8s, so that's going to be my 8, and I don't think I can do much more with that right now. Now, let's see what we can do for kind of the symmetrical area of the grid up here in this area. So we have 4s there and there, so 4 has to go into one of these three cells. And where can we put a 4? So 4 definitely can't go in this cell because of the 4-6 pair. And just like we did down the bottom left earlier, we can identify this as a 2-3, and the 3 there resolves it. So 4 is going to be in one of those cells, and these 4 cells have to contain 1, 4, 7, and 9. So if we mark those, we know 4 is in one of those, so we can eliminate 4s there. We can eliminate 7s here and here, we can eliminate a 9 there. 7 definitely has to go in that position, that's the only spot where we can possibly put it. Now this is going to be either a 4 or a 9. Okay, now these 4 cells are 1, 4, 6, and 9, so I still need a 3 and 7 to complete this diagonal. So those will go there and there. And so my remaining digits here are 1, 2, 8, and 9. Those will be 2 and 8 in that order, those will be 9 and 1 in that order, and I think that's going to give me enough to resolve everything I have left by Sudoku. That'll be a 6, and the 9 makes that a 4, which makes this a 1 and a 9, and that's now a 4. These are going to be 1, 5, and 7, with a 5 and a 1 there because of the 1 in this row, and my 5 is finally resolved. We've had those since the very beginning, we've been waiting on them, and now we're there. These cells are going to contain 2 and 6 to finish off this row, and then these cells are going to be 4 and 9 to finish this row. Fantastic. That is how you solve Philip Newman's On the Road Again, Diagonal Sudoku. Hope you enjoyed that one. The link to check it out yourself is in the description of this video below. And I will see you again, actually not in three days, but right after this video, because I have one more I need to catch up on to get back on track. See you soon.